Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time, hello, well, hello there. Um, <clears throat> so today we're going to be doing. I'm going to be doing an ethnic ethnicity tag. Um, I've only just found out the meaning of that this morning. To be honest with you, it's just because like I wanted to tell you guys a little bit more about where I'm from, because I've had so many people asking me where do you come from. Like you know, some people think I'm. Um, from the Caribbean, some people think I'm Nigerian, some people think I'm from Zimbabwe, you know, like I've had loads of different um, um, ideas about where I'm coming from. But today I want to tell you a little bit about, my, about myself so that so that you know where exactly I come from. I come from a country called Uganda and it's in East Africa. Let me tell you something. Whenever you talk to people about Uganda, I mean, I live in the UK, but whenever you, whenever people ask you about Uganda and you tell them about Uganda, the first thing that they say to you is, "Oh, you come from that country where there's um that president Idi Amin." <laughs> it's like the only thing that they know about Uganda is Idi Amin. No, no, no. There's so much to Uganda than Idi Amin. Like, I mean, rest his soul, but like, generations have changed now. We're doing different things now, so it's not all about Idi Amin when it comes to Uganda there's so much things that there is to know about Uganda the first thing that I want to put straight forward for anybody that's watching um because Uganda is based in Africa a lot of people think that you know we're so poor we don't have houses um because of the videos that they see on the media of children you know in, in poverty but let me tell you something there's people that have massive massive beautiful houses okay so let's get straight to answering some questions i feel like because you follow me on youtube like you need to know about me you know as a person i think i should have actually done this as my first video my apologies that i didn't release this earlier but it's really important when you're following somebody that you know about them so okay first question is where are you from? I'm holding a piece of paper. So if you see me looking down, it's because I'm reading the questions that I'm going to be answering in this video. So the first question is, where are you from? Okay, so I live in the UK, but I'm originally from, and I was born in Uganda, Kampala. Um, I came to the UK when I was very young, um, but I've spent most of time, my time in the UK, but I do regularly go back to Uganda as well. So I'm from Kampala in Uganda. I'm from a little... A village called Luafu in Machi India. Actually, when I tell a lot of people who are Ugandans that I'm from Luafu, they're like, "Oh, but that's a town area." But this is because, basically, the place where I'm from in Machi India, it used to be like a village back in the day. But of course, because of, you know, um, I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna call it civilization, but <laughs> you know, like now, like this people have built everywhere so now it's kind of like a town area so when you tell people that you're from matching jelly waffle when you tell Ugandans that it sounds a bit strange because it's kind of like a town area now but this is where my grandparents are from um we, we actually still have our house in matching jelly waffle on salama road um we have our family house that's been there for ages and ages and years and years so question is do you have an ethnic name yes i do my ethnic name is namutebi okay say it again say it with me namutebi <laughs> that is my ethnic name and it's i don't know what exactly it means but it's it basically is from my clan um everybody in uganda belongs to well not everybody but people that come from my tribe which is amamuganda Everyone that comes from the Baganda tribe has a belongs to a clan. So my particular clan is Mamba clan. And what they say basically is that if you belong to a certain clan, you cannot date anybody who's within that clan. Well, apart from my tribe, my, my clan allows for that. But all the other clans, you cannot date anybody within the same clan because it's kind of it's kind of classed as like in, incest. That's how it works check on my skin see if it's still looking flick and my hair still looking flick yes yes okay let's continue <laughs> before we continue i'm gonna give you five seconds to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to my channel so five four three two one you need to subscribe to my channel if you want to keep on getting my updates i'm a very interesting person a bit a little bit crazy sometimes but you know so if you want to get my updates every time i release new material press the subscribe button and the bell button there's a little bell that goes ding. 
press that and then you'll be notified as soon as I upload a new video. So make sure you do that and forward all my videos, share them. Thank you so much. Thank you. The next question is, when was the last time you visited your country? I was there last year in August. I go to my country almost every year. Yeah, I visit Uganda every year. Um, I mean, I've got family in Uganda, but obviously I've got a business in Uganda as well. So I... I often visit to check on my family and my business and just to have fun, just to have fun. I'm telling you, going to Uganda on holiday is just amazing. Like, you know, it's so much fun. It's partying all the time. Party, 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 party. We are party people in Uganda. So yeah, so the last time I was there was last year. Um, I was wanted to go to Uganda this year as well, but I don't know, you know, because we've got this whole coronavirus thing going on. I don't know part of the country are you and your family from i think i've answered this question we are from luafu machindie everybody who's from luafu machindie give me a shout out hello my luafu people people them people them <laughs> hey i'm a luafu chick machindie salama road i sound like a taxi driver you know you've got these conductors in uganda they go uh, that's me matching is my area code so that's where i'm from in uganda name one ethnic food that you enjoy the most oh my god we're gonna are we gonna talk about food because i love matoke everybody who doesn't know matoke matoke is like a staple staple food in uganda it's basically green banana you can have it with anything you can have it with any stew my favorite food is matoke and binyebwa. I will have that all year round because that's how much I love it. I love matoke, I love binyebwa, I love luwombo. Luwombo is like, um, it's kind of like a dish which, um, how do I explain that? It's like meat and it's roasted, but it's in this aromatic stew. <laughs> I, love, I love luwombo, I love matoke. Um, and Vinyewa, I love chapati, sumbusa. Damn, I'm getting hungry talking about all this food. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to show you some of the foods that I have in my kitchen. I'm going to take you into my kitchen and I'm going to show you some of my food, what it looks like, some of my traditional food. Although I live in the UK, I have access to Ugandan food. So I try to cook it as often as I can. Um, you know, I'm very, very blessed that I was born in Uganda and then I came to the UK when I was really young. So I have like a mix of both cultures, you know, so I mean, when I'm cooking for my kids, unfortunately, they don't eat my food from Uganda, but I love my food from Uganda. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. Let's go over to my kitchen so you can see. Let's start with this. So this is my toke, the green banana that I was telling you about every ugandan household needs to have this food you cannot tell me that you're ugandan if you don't have this food you have been dismissed if you don't have this food all right so then this is this is the peanut this is also this is what i was telling you about that is one of my favorite foods basically it makes a paste if you put it in water and um let it stew it's a peanut and these two basically go hand in hand peanut peanut sauce which we call binyewa and then we've got this thing as well this 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 is called ghee or in luganda it's called muzigo mganda mm? so we put this it's kind of so this food basically adds flavor to um, to your food to our Ugandan food so it's kind of like cheese I think it's kind of like cheese you know if I'm right like it just adds a little bit of an oomph in everything that you're cooking you make banana you 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 put it in you're making your stews you put it in everything so I love this ghee and then here you can see the luwombo this is what it looks like when it's been prepared um so this is the peanut luwombo and then you also have the meat luwombo which you can see in the picture. There's two different types, just depending on what you like most. And then we also have chapati, which a lot of Ugandans love, and I love that too as well. So um, what I'll do is I'll actually, um, I'll show you a picture of what this food like. Bleh, bleh, bleh. Start again, Angel. 
I'll show you a picture of what this food looks like when it's ready. Um, some other foods that I haven't mentioned is chapati, samosas, um, posho and beans. I'm not really a fan of posho and beans. Nah, mm -mm, mm -mm, I don't like it. Um, what else? Nsenene. There's this thing called nsenene. It's like locusts. <laughs> a lot of people like that. Or another Ugandan food that I like is pancake. I love kabala galas. I love pancakes, Ugandan pancakes. Let me tell you something. They make my belly hurt. They make my belly hurt, but I still love. Another Ugandan food I really like is mochomo. See, I told you, I told you, if I start talking about Ugandan food, we're going to be here all day because one of the things that Uganda is famous for, their food is heavenly and outstanding. Oh my God. If you have not had Ugandan food, you really need to have Ugandan food, especially when they have their parties. You know, Ugandans are party people, but like our food is amazing. No lie, no lie. I've eaten so many different countries food and I'm not just saying this because I'm from Uganda, but like our food is amazing. So um, I do love um, Muchomo as well. I like Mpulta, which is like salmon, I think grilled salmon is the equivalent of that um i love pork as well pardon me my muslim friends <laughs> but i love that i love pork so much i feel like i want to cry talking about it <laughs> how much time have i spent talking about food how much time have i spent talking about food? okay what's the next question name one household item that base that best represents your culture mm. Okay, let me grab those household items. This is a mat. Don't know if you can see it. It's basically a Ugandan mat. Most Ugandan households have this. It's like a, my, my son calls it a Ugandan carpet. <laughs> it's like a long mat that you sit on when you're having guests or some people just use it as an ornament or just to eat food. When you know when you when you're eating food and you're together with your family, you can just sit down and put this mat on. It's called a mukeka. That is a household item in most Baganda traditional homes. And I've got this hair in the UK um, and I'm so proud to have it here. I'm gonna show you a couple of other items that I have in my house, which basically represent my culture. Ah, I got this as well, my Ugandans. My Ugandans, do you know what this is? I'm not even gonna explain it, eh? Okay, it's for cooking, but it also has other functions in the house, in, within the house. So this outfit here is called a gomesi. Um, basically, you wear it when somebody's getting engaged, when someone's having a traditional engagement or you're going to attend a traditional engagement. Um, the material is very luxurious. All of the Baganda ladies, this is what they wear. And normally it has a belt. You wear it with a belt or a sash, I should call it. So this is the sash that goes with it. So you can choose all the different colors that you want, basically depending on what your taste is. See, there's another pretty sash there. And then we've got this, which is called Echikoi. This goes underneath the gomesi to give you more shape as you're wearing it. So there you go. This is my beautiful traditional clothing. I will post, I'm going to post some pictures. I'm going to attach some pictures so you can see me, what I look like wearing this traditional Ugandan wear, which is. So this kind of material, I picked it for myself. Um, I will post um, a link of where you can find find it available um i think i have some of them in uh, my shop as well but yeah it's beautiful beautiful i love ugandan um traditional wear because it's so colorful it's so vibrant um it's absolutely amazing amazing why am i looking at you you're a picture in a frame Make believe you're next to me, but I know it's not the same. Why am I looking at you? You're a pixel on a screen. Your animating principle is nowhere to be seen. A 
okay let's have a little commercial break so that i can sing some ugandan songs for you um what song can i sing <laughs> brings me to the next question the next question what is your favorite ethnic music i like the way how they call it ethnic what is your ethnic music my favorite music uh my favorite ugandan music um man i like all the i like shiba i love 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 shiba i love shiba's music you know like shiba winning waji you know that music that has a dance hall vibe to it yeah the, the dance hall vibe to it like shiba's songs what what songs does shiba wankube nyanda wankpereza sigido ai ai ondieri munda man i love shiba nuaji oyita yonda beko hani na 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 <laughs> i love winning watching and i love shiba and i love david lutalo um eddie kenzo you know it's so interesting that i know all the music from my ugandan artists even though i'm in the uk i've tried to stay connected to my ugandan people and i want to promote them i want to promote the ugandan music i mean i love i listen to r&b i listen to raga and reggae but i love my ugandan people's music i love it i love it i love it i love it love it the next question is do you speak your language of course i speak my language come on guys come on of course i speak my language i speak my language because by the time that i left uganda of course i was already speaking my language and the, the good thing with uganda is that everybody well almost everybody speaks english so you know by the time that you go to travel to another country at least you can speak english but also you can speak your language. I'm really trying hard to see that I can teach my kids my language because it's so good when the kids can speak your language. Nobody can talk about you because you know exactly what it is. I mean, I'll tell you guys a funny story. When I go to the airport in Uganda, when I arrive in Uganda, like one time, so I, I got to the airport um, from the UK and I was in Uganda from the, from from the uk and yeah and i got to uganda and then the people the ladies at the airport they were like oh you know hi how are you so when i got to the airport the airport attendants they were like hi how are you like speaking to me in proper proper english yeah and i was like they were like so shocked i'm telling you most of the time when people hear, hear me speak in english because i've got a british accent like they don't think that i can speak the language but i can speak luganda perfectly perfectly i can even write in luganda i can speak the language so you know i'm i, I kind of boast about that because i'm like yeah if i'm talking to my british people like my man them my girls them i can switch to the slang like the south london slang you get me though you get me but then if but then if i need to speak to if i need to speak luganda i can also speak luganda yeah it's very important for me to be able to relate in, and speak to my my language because obviously i have businesses in uganda as well um you know so I need to be able to relate to my clients and my customers um, and just my people in general. So, um, of course, I speak Luganda. I don't know if I can teach you a few words if you don't know how to speak to Luganda. I'll teach you a few ba basics. How do you say hello in Luganda? You say, Oliotia. Okay, repeat after me. Oliotia. If you're saying hi, sir, or hi, madam, like if someone's like respectable, you just say, Oliotia Sebo is hi, sir. Oliotia Nyabo is high, like a lady who's like respectable. <laughs> and then if you love somebody, if you've got a girlfriend or a boyfriend and you want to tell them you love them so much, you tell them Nkwagala Nyo 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 So you can be like Nkwagala, Nkwagala baby. 
that means I love you a lot. I love you loads. Kwagala. Kwagala. <laughs> um so yeah that's i think that's it about my ethnicity thank you guys for tuning into my ethnicity tag be sure to subscribe um and if you're ugandan holler at me in the comments and i will see you i will see you soon basically yeah just holler at me in the comments if you're ugandan and you're feeling this video holler at me give me a shout sub me you know let's connect and i will see you in the, my next video i hope you have enjoyed this video so i get asked this question a lot where i'm from some people have thought that I come from the Caribbean because I've got a lot of Caribbean friends. I even know how to speak Patwa. What a mom, I'm joking. <laughs> hey, brethren, where are going, sir? So, you know, because you hang around, like in the UK, you hang around with all different types of people from different nationalities. So you kind of pick up each other's dialects. I have some Nigerian friends. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Hey, chale, chale. And some Ghanaian friends. Midasi. <laughs> See, I know a little bit about all these different countries, but, you know, people always ask me, where are you from? Are you Ghanaian? Are you from Zimbabwe? Oh, are you Jamaican? Like, hey, you know, but obviously mm, I love those countries so much, but and I love the people there. So shout out to you if you're from any of those countries. But I am from the Pearl of Africa. I am from Uganda.